Hi, YouTubers! It's Evan and Alex with Hazel Girls. I'm going to a good right now, so I want to do a quick rant about cigars. Now, I'm smoking a nice big ass cigar for life, and this is going to be a quick rant. I apologize if I used some profanity in the video, but I'm going to give you a quick rant about cigars. So, I went to my liquor store in town today in Massachusetts, and I bought this cigar, this Rocky Patel. I think it's like a Edge or whatever it is. I don't really care what kind of cigar it is. So, nice cigar, a cheap, nice big ass cigar for life, probably six, seven dollars. I think I paid seven forty three tax and basically I bring it home and I noticed the um, I made videos about this earlier how the head of the cigar was a little bit damaged and had a, had a crack in it so I figure okay I'll, I'll cut the cigar see if it's beyond repair so I cut the cigar and the um, head part actually kind of splits apart. So I'm like, oh geez, okay. So what I do is I smoke through the foot and I was just explaining in the uh, video, if you ever get a cigar, in general, if you ever get a cigar, nice big ass cigar of life, that is damaged like that, the head of the cigar is cracked, you can smoke through the foot. So what's happening now, if you watch the cigar, is the uh, cigars unraveling. So that's not good. And I want to do a quick rant, maybe a two minute rant, about something that's a huge, huge, huge pet peeve of mine, which is cigar companies that don't use double or triple or quad caps. And basically I did a, ser a series on cigar caps, I think a couple years ago. On my channel, and it's bleh, tobacco. It's an enormous pet peeve of mine because the problem is when cigar companies, and I don't care if they're cheap ass or they don't have the money to do it, whatever, it's like you're a cigar company, you have the money to put an extra cap or two on the damn cigar. So it is an enormous pet peeve of mine because what happens is even if you use a perfect cutter, which I use a Cuban Crafter's perfect cutter, what happens is the cigar unravels, especially if it's too dry and it's not kept to the right humidity. What happens is when you cut the cigar and you cut down, unless you cut down perfectly, the cigar starts to unravel. And that's not good because when the cigar unravels, unless you're willing to just smoke the uh, binder and filler, then you lose the wrapper, which the wrapper has a lot of flavors. Actually, in general, that's where you get most of the flavors in the cigar, is in a cigar, you get most of the flavors in the wrapper. Now, that's a common myth that the filler has a lot of flavors, the Lajaro and the fillers, whatever it is, I don't care whatever the hell you're talking about, <laughs> not to be rude, but you get the point. It's like, you can tell I'm a little bit upset. But um, where you're getting most of the flavors in a cigar is from the uh, wrapper. That's where you get most of the flavors from, especially the sweet, coffee, cocoa, cream, espresso. That's where you get most of the flavors from is from the wrapper. And it's an enormous pet peeve of mine when uh, cigar companies don't spend the extra nickel or dime, whatever it is, whatever the hell it is, to put a extra cap on a cigar because that's one of the few problems with Padron cigars. Uh, Padron, which is my absolute favorite brand, I will pay an arm and a leg for their cigars. I mean, no questions asked. I'll spend thirty, forty dollars on a cigar from Padron because I love their cigars. Nice big ass cigar for life, but it's a pain in my ass, like the big ass cigar, when they don't put a extra cap. Car going by one sec. When they don't put an extra cap on a cigar, because what happens is the cigar starts to unravel. As you can see right here, it's unraveling here, and it's becoming almost impossible to smoke. So, word of the wise, number one, when you go to a cigar shop, make sure they are acclimated at right temperature, right humidity. Don't go to a cheap ass, like the big ass cigar um, tobacconist. So, don't go to like a little discount cigarette shop, like any place like shitty like that. So, second off, inspect before you buy. If I had known this cigar was damaged, I never would have bought it. Because it cost me almost $10. So, I mean, $10 is a decent amount of money. And with how poor ass I am, <laughs> like the big ass cigar, I am, that's a lot of money. So, and thirdly is, cigar companies, if you're watching the video, which I doubt you are, because you're all big businessmen smoking nice big ass fat cigar for life, um, definitely spend an extra nickel or dime to put an extra damn cap on the cigar because it's an enormous, enormous, enormous pet peeve of mine. Anyway, give me thoughts. Bye. Big ass cigar for life.